Can Crypto.com overtake Binance as the number one exchange by 2025? Let's go over some different factors and the pros and cons of each exchange. Number one, let's start off with user count. As of the latest statistics reported by Binance, Binance has over 120 million active users, whereas Crypto.com just passed the 70 million user mark. So Binance still has a sizable lead in terms of user count, but the gap is closing. In terms of the rate of growth, Crypto.com was the fastest growing crypto company from 2023 to 2022. They went from a mere 5 million users in October of 2020 to 70 million users in November of 2022. This is a staggering growth rate of 14x of user count in just a span of two years. For comparison purposes, the more established Binance had about 21.5 million users by the end of 2020 and approximately 4x their user growth to about 120 million by the end of 2022. So Binance is still the clear leader, but how long will this this position lasts. Crypto.com is on track to clear 100 million users by the end of 2023, so the growth rate is absolutely staggering. For comparison purposes, Coinbase had 108 million users by the end of 2022 and ended 2020 with around 40 million users, which is slightly 3xing their user count. So all crypto exchanges are growing fast, but not as fast as Crypto.com, which in the span of two years completely crushed the growth rate of its competitors. Now, it truly would not surprise me if Crypto.com is the exchange with the highest amount of users by the end of 2025 in just three years time. I absolutely do see Crypto.com surpassing Binance in terms of users and all other crypto exchanges as well. And part of this is their focus on the mainstream population and crypto beginners. In terms of marketing, Crypto.com is clearly above Binance and the rest of the competition. We saw that with massive advertising at the FIFA World Cup, where Crypto.com was right up there with other big established brand names. They got the hottest stars backing them up, like LeBron James. And yes, while Binance is also doing heavy marketing as well, bringing in TikTok stars like Kabi Lame. In my eyes, it's just not the same. They even partnered up with Ronaldo. But guess what? Messi, the biggest superstar in the world, plays for PSG and wears the Crypto.com logo until next June. And alright, to be honest, the marketing efforts of Binance really does feel a little bit more forced, even in terms of the name. I just don't think that Binance can be as powerful of a mainstream consumer brand over the next three years. Crypto.com wins, in my opinion, as they are by far the best marketing company in crypto in the world. They are like the crypto Coca-Cola in terms of marketing. And if you wanted to judge it just by user count. If there's a 2024 crypto bull run due to the next Bitcoin halving and Crypto.com is ready for that staggering user growth in 2024, just like they were in 2021, then in my eyes, mainstream users are going to flock to Crypto.com and the Crypto.com debit cards. We are placing a bet on users not yet onboarded to crypto yet. And if we're doing it by that definition, I'm definitely going with Crypto.com being able to attract the users not yet onboarded to crypto over Binance. I'm going to make a bet that I feel Crypto.com could exceed Binance in terms of user count by the end of 2025, given their staggering user growth. All right, number two, let's talk about exchange activity. Right now, it's not even close. Binance is the clear market leader commanding over 20% of the market in terms of exchange activity. Crypto.com commands a small amount of trading volume right now and unfortunately does not break the top 10 in terms of overall exchange activity, losing out to some of its competitors like Coinbase and Gate.io. In terms of exchange volume, Crypto.com is only at about 3% of the exchange volume that Binance clears. And while Crypto.com is also making moves like attracting institutional trading partners and acquiring smaller exchanges, it is really difficult to see anyone challenge Binance for that top spot in just three years time by 2025. I I really don't see Binance losing out its dominant position to anyone in the next three years, but I would caution anyone to think that Binance could not ever lose its top position ever. If you're familiar with the history of the internet, then you know that Yahoo at one time was the king of the internet. They were king of search and king of social. From 1996 to 2001, there was no hotter company than Yahoo. They dominated everything on the internet. The company was five years old and worth more than Ford, Chrysler, and GM combined and had a peak valuation of $125 billion. Upstart companies like Google and Facebook were nowhere near the powerhouse that Yahoo was in the early 2000s. And Yahoo actually had the opportunity to purchase Google and Facebook respectively for around a billion dollars each, which was just a fraction of Yahoo's market cap at the peak. But Yahoo screwed up both opportunities. And we all know what happened afterwards. Due to poor business execution and lack of innovation, Yahoo basically died a slow death. Google would go on to dominate search, 
Facebook would go on to dominate social, and Yahoo would be nothing more than a shadow of its former self today. So while we can say that Crypto.com is nowhere near the size of Binance right now, it is clearly gunning for their position. So while in three years by 2025, I don't see Binance losing its dominant position to anyone, including Crypto.com, I do caution anyone to think that just because Binance is the market leader today, that they will always be the market leader. We're still so early in crypto that the market leaders of today could be the Yahoo's and ALL's of the future tomorrow. In 10 years time, 20 years time, no one really knows what the most dominant exchange is going to be. It's really a wild card right now. All right, number three, let's talk about the respective chains of Kronos and BNB chain. If we were to take a look at the total value locked, then we pretty much see that Kronos is obviously nowhere near BNB chain, although it is still a top 10 chain in terms of TVL. Kronos is still in the process of building up. And unfortunately right now, it's nowhere near the activity level of that of BNB chain. There are definitely a lot of projects being built on Kronos, such as DEXs, Metaverse, and gaming. But to be honest and fair, I really can't name one super hot gaming project on Kronos yet. I know Ethereum has named brands like Axie Infinity, BNB chain has brand names like Thetan Arena and also big name. Kronos just doesn't have anything notable yet in my eyes. You have stuff like VBS Finance that mimics PancakeSwap, but I haven't really seen a triple A project on Kronos that I absolutely love yet. It is still very much an upstart blockchain compared to the more established BNB chain. By 2025, I still expect BNB Chain to maintain its dominant leadership position alongside with Ethereum. However, I do see significant developer interest and activity in Kronos. Kronos Labs is working hard to build out the chain and we have this Kronos Accelerator with a $100 million war chest. They got some really notable partners like Ubisoft and I think the first cohort of projects are already launching. And in my eyes, it's just a matter of time when we do see that first big brand name project coming out of Kronos. However, Binance does have Binance Labs and overall just much more triple A projects. Right now, Kronos is just nowhere near as established as BNB Chain. And while I see Kronos improving in three years time, BNB Chain is still the much more established player and that's not gonna change by 2025. All right, number four, let's talk about crypto regulation and safety. We all know what happened with FTX and the biggest question on everyone's mind is safety. In my eyes, there is no exchange more committed to regulation and compliance in the world than crypto.com. Some of these things include regulatory approvals from places like Singapore. They're also working for approval in Dubai. On the contrary, Binance has had a pull out of places like Singapore. So this is the one area where I feel Crypto.com has a big advantage over Binance on. And this is part of the philosophy of Crypto.com and what the company was built on. Binance was built with a philosophy of promoting the freedom of money. You see, CZ actually traveled to a lot of different countries during his earlier working years and was frustrated by how difficult it was to exchange money from one currency to another. He wanted to make a change and with his background in computer science and working on building trading systems in the TradFi world, he basically accomplished that goal. Now, I'm not exactly sure what Chris Marzalik's education background was in, but it seems like he graduated from a top ranking university in Poland. But Crypto.com was built with regulation in mind that in order to achieve its mission of cryptocurrency in every wallet, a crypto exchange must promote regulation and be in compliance with local governments. And both companies do have a more noble vision of crypto, where crypto can help reach more underserved communities where traditional financial markets are not yet accessible. So safety is paramount for both companies. Both companies have had a proof of reserves audit done and have survived hacking attempts in the past where user funds were fully restored. As both companies are private companies with very limited information, the full financial records are just not yet accessible. However, both exchanges are still standing today, surviving twice crypto brutal winters. Now, if I were to make a bet though on which company would have the easier path to IPO in the future, I'm still gonna go with crypto.com. They're just more regulated in my opinion and have less criticism on things like anti-money laundering. Like crypto.com has super strict AML rules and just seem to push regulation wherever they go. So they're able to partner up with local governments just much more quickly. And this is the one big advantage that I see crypto.com having over Binance. And finally, number five, let's talk about market capital of BNB versus Crow. 
BNB has survived the crypto winter extremely well. At the time of this video, they're about 63% off their all-time high of $676, whereas Crow is about 95% off from its all-time high of around a dollar. And in case anyone is wondering, that's much below my own entry point in the icy white crypto card, but I have remained staked throughout the entire process. With a market cap of about $40 billion at the time of this video, Binance is clearly the more dominant player. Kronos just has a market cap of a little over $1 billion at the time of this video. And although Kronos has been hit really hard, they were also negatively grouped together with some of their peers that went bankrupt, including FTX, Celsius, and Voyager Digital. If Crypto.com continues to deliver in the next couple of years, I do believe the ratio of market cap between BNB and Crow will continue to shrink as Crypto.com continues to gain more momentum and adoption. With more and more institutional investors coming on board and the utility of Crow to reduce trading fees and the continued development of the Kronos chain, it wouldn't surprise me to see Crow return back to its all-time high at some point. For a company that generates $1 billion in revenue annually on exchange volume, with further growth expected to occur over the next couple of years, it's definitely plausible and defensible to feel that Crow has not even reached its all-time high yet. But of course, no one really knows. Before investing, please do your own due diligence as all cryptocurrency investments come with risk. However, in my eyes, Crypto.com is definitely a solid, legitimate competitor to Binance. One of CZ's tweets even addressed Crypto.com directly, and I actually looked at a lot of different exchanges like Kraken, Gate.io, and Gemini, but none of them have as compelling a vision as Crypto.com in my eyes. All right, to summarize, I think in 2025, let's talk about Binance's dominance versus Crypto.com's dominance. I still see Binance being the most dominant exchange in terms of exchange volume. I still see BNB Chain being the much more dominant chain compared to Kronos, BNB will still have a much more superior market capitalization to Crow. However, with that said, I do see Crypto.com gaining massive momentum. They will exceed Binance in terms of number of users at some point, possibly in 2025. The Crypto.com Visa debit card program will only get better and it's much more superior to Binance's debit card program. Crow will only get more valuable as more and more mainstream adoption happens and the lead that BNB has on Crow will shrink. We'll start seeing AAA projects on Kronos and Crypto.com has a lot of catalysts in my eyes. They are the faster growing company with lots of momentum, whereas Binance is the much more mature juggernaut. One major catalyst is a potential IPO. There is a clearer path to IPO for Crypto.com versus Binance in my eyes due to its more strict focus on regulation. If Crypto.com goes public, all bets are off if institutional investors want to come in. Imagine if an institutional investor like Kathy Wood and ARK Invest pick up Crypto.com. So by 2025, a lot of things could still happen. The world will look a lot different. We'll probably be out of the recession by the second half of 2024, leading up to the next US election. The SEC could finally give regulatory clarity on crypto. And it's even possible we could see GBTC being converted to a spot ETF in the next few years. The next Bitcoin halving in 2024 could spark up the next crypto bull run and run that up all the way into 2025. And crypto.com might just be that next breakout project as the next dominant crypto exchange. The world is obviously gonna look very different. However, these are just my opinions. What are your thoughts? Do you guys think that crypto.com could eventually one day exceed Binance? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As with anything and everything, please do your own due diligence. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.